The Hassan Reddick trade is truly feast or famine because it's going to come out one of two ways. Either the Eagles look like geniuses or this is the stupidest move ever. There is something else going on. The question is, what is it? kick thing back here and all I can say is this about the Eagles all I can say is this the one thing we all should be able to agree on is this team has balls man they have balls and they let it hang around swinging around on their tiptoes because what they just did in trading Hassan Reddick is a feast or famine situation there is no in between there is no situation in my opinion that the Eagles can say all right this trade was okay this is either going to be a genius move or this is going to be the dumbest move ever there is no in between now before I get into it I, oh man I, I just gotta say I haven't been able to sleep all night. I've been sitting there thinking about this trade. And when it first initially happened, I was angry. I was legitimately angry, you know. And um, I've kind of calmed down since then. I mean, when I went live and I started that live stream, all I could see was red. That's it. I couldn't see anything else uh, because I was, I was just incensed, you know. And I think a lot of people are pissed off about this trade. And I think the major reason why more people aren't on it uh, and off, or aren't for this trade is because of what you got compensation-wise. I mean, we're sitting here right now today, and the Eagles didn't get better they got worse. Now, some people might want to say, well, this is a lateral move, and it may turn out to be a lateral move or much better. But right now, Hassan Reddick is better than anybody else that we had on our roster. And I think most people, including myself, could have accepted this trade a lot easier if, let's say, you got a third round pick in 2024, even though I didn't want even that. Okay, I said I wouldn't have done it for that, but at least uh, a lot of other people would have thought, well, at least we got something, at least we got a pick in this draft, you know, but we don't. We don't have a pick in this draft. We don't have a pick in next year's draft for it. We have to wait till 2026. Uh, if you've been living on the moon or under a rock or some aliens took you on a ship and was abducting you uh, and you just got back or maybe... Uh, Mark Holmes put a Joe Boo voodoo curse on you, and you just got, came out of it. Uh, here's what happened. Adam Schefter reported this. Trade. Eagles are sending edge rusher Hassan Reddick to the New York Jets for a conditional 2026 third-round pick that could become a second-round pick, sources tell ESPN. The 2026 pick becomes a second if Reddick has 67.5% playing time this season and has 10 or more sacks. If not, it's a 2026 third. He put 2023 third. That's impossible since that draft was a year ago. But that's what the Eagles are getting. They're, they're basically giving Reddick away for, for draft picks two years from now. And listen... There's one of two ways this is going to go. It's either going to be feast or famine. Now, the one thing I want to say, because I, I got several DMs overnight, and that's probably one of the reasons why I can't sleep either. Like, I, I literally can't sleep because of this trade. So, I mean, this is like a, a Philly 500 tired rant right now. But, you know, um, a lot of people are saying to me, Oh, Philly, look, the way you got to look at this trade is it's like the Eagles traded Hassan Reddick for Bryce Huff and a third-round pick. Doesn't that sound pretty good? We just basically swip play, uh, swap players. And, and, I, and my response is this. That is a false narrative. That is a gigantic, huge, false narrative, okay? To say that we basically traded... Uh, Hassan Reddick for Huff and a third round pick isn't true. And the reason it's not true is because yesterday, 48 hours ago, you had Hassan Reddick and Huff on your roster at the same time. They were already on the same team. You already had Huff. You didn't need to trade Reddick to get Huff. Huff was already there and he wasn't going anywhere. He was signed. 
So, you know, I think that is said because people want to feel better about the trade because we didn't get anything back. But the truth is, no, this is this was a, the Eagles trying to get rid, rid of Hassan Reddick. Maybe they wanted to be nice and help him out and give him a chance to go make money somewhere else. Although it's interesting that as of right now, Hassan Reddick hasn't signed an extension with the Jets and he's going to go play his last year of his contract. Now, how are you going to feel about it if we go into next year and he didn't sign an extension and he's playing the final year's contract out? Then what? Because the other thing is, well, he was going to hold out. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. I don't know. I know that when you're his age, it's kind of hard to hold out because if you waste a year trying to hold out, you're really only getting a year older, which is a problem, and it's going to be harder to get your money. I think if Hassan Reddick would have stayed with the Eagles and played the last year of his contract out, he would have maybe not been happy, but he would have been very motivated because he knows that he can get one last contract if he has a good year. Either way, it really doesn't matter, I guess, at the end of the day, but but let's make no mistake about it. This was not a trade for Bryce Huff and a third. Bryce Huff was already on your team, and with Hassan Reddick and with Bryce Huff, you had an elite pass rush, okay? So, um, it is what it is. And, and like I said, I think a lot more people would have been able to accept it if you had gotten something this year, okay? And this is a ballsy move because in the long run, you're going to possibly probably have a second round pick in 2026. You're going to have Huff with a few years of experience and Nolan Smith with a few years of experience. And my my lack of not liking this trade has no bearing, has nothing to do with me not liking Huff or not liking Nolan Smith. It has nothing to do with that. I think both those guys are tremendously talented. And I think both those guys may be really, really good. What I wanted was I wanted a very deep bench. I wanted to be able to rotate constantly guys that could play in the fourth quarter, keeping them fresh and taking advantage of that. I really thought you had a chance to do that. While, if we're being honest about Bryce Huff and Nolan Smith, they both don't have a lot of experience. So a, a year to come in, another year for Nolan Smith to learn how to play, another year for Bryce Huff to prove that he can have double-digit sacks and he can get to the quarterback more than just one year. Um if you would have had that chance to develop those guys with Reddick there as your stability and as your big pass rusher, uh, and then he leaves, I feel like those guys would have been more ready to take it right over. Um, however, that's just not the way it is. That's not what the Eagles did. And we've got to try to think of this, uh, you know, not just so much. And this is me talking to myself. Believe me, I'm, I'm talking to myself. I'm telling myself this, all right? Because I haven't slept barely at all. Because I, I was really mad about this. I'm not as mad about it anymore. I just wish. I just wish we would have gotten something uh, in return for this year. Something that could go to the team this year. Because, listen, you're, you're, you want to build long term. You also want to try to win next year. I think the Eagles are good enough to do both. I do. Uh, and, and the whole key to this whole trade, it's going to come down to Nolan Smith and Bryce Huff. And Vic Fangio, for that matter. Uh, these guys have to perform. If you get double digit, if you get, I'm telling you right now, if you get, if you get nine and a half sacks out of, let's say, Bryce Huff this year, and let's say you get six to seven out of Nolan Smith, I think you're going to be okay. I think you're going to be okay. But you've got, you've got, those guys have to produce. Now, it, in the positive, if we're looking at the good thing that could come out of this, if they go out there and let's say Bryce Huff and Nolan Smith, let's say they develop into what we think they should be. Uh, because when you sign Bryce Huff, to me, he's supposed to be one of the better pass rushers in the National Football League. When you draft Nolan Smith in the first round, he's supposed to be a guy that should be able to go out and play and be a double-digit sack guy. If both guys live up to their potential, this is going to be a this is going to be a great trade for the Eagles. It's going to be a great trade, and I love Hassan Reddick, but it will be because you know why? Uh, you'll have. Two really young guys uh, doing what Reddick did, if not, you know, together combined better than what he was doing. Um, but, you know, we'll see. And, and I know that, that there's a lot of stuff about Reddick didn't fit 
uh, Fangio scheme where he Fangio wants his linebackers to drop back more. Reddick couldn't do that. Well, just remember, they, they said the same thing about Bryce Huff. They said Bryce Huff was pretty much a a pass rushing specialist. So really, he's very similar in, in that regard. Um, but I mean, it's 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 a crazy move uh, by the Eagles. It's a ballsy move. But I'll say this: one last thing about it. I don't believe how he's done yet. I don't believe he's done yet. I believe that Howie Roseman has another shoe to drop. I think that there has to be something else that they're working on, something big and something uh, that forced them to have to get rid of Reddick to make this thing work. I, I got to believe that. I think that there's another shoe to drop. Out of all the years that I've seen Howie Roseman be the GM and make trades, I've never come out of any trade he's ever made and gone, man, I don't know if we, I don't think we got anything. I don't think we got enough out of that. I mean, he got Carson Wentz to get, he got a first round pick out of Carson Wentz. He got a first round pick out of Sam Stinkford. I mean, he is constantly just, just ripped off other teams and other GMs with draft picks. I've never seen a situation where Howie Roseman look like he didn't get the best of the deal and if you look at this on the surface that's how it looks right now so I feel like there's something else afoot there's something else going on Howie Roseman's up to something he's sneaky he's a sneaky Howie Roseman with his Napoleon hat his his glasses pencil pocket pencil protector and he's calculating the calculations of the cornbread he was calculating the calculations of the cornbread he added some gravitational pull some full moon and some rotation of the earth at a thousand miles per hour at the equator he added all sorts of kind of mathematics into this compensation because there's something else going on. There's just something else going on. No, nobody can convince me otherwise. There's another shoe yet to drop. I don't know what it is. I can't wait to figure out what it is. And as far as the draft goes, um, I know everybody's saying, well, they're going to draft. They are going to draft a defensive end now. They're going to draft an edge rusher. I'm thinking about it, and, and that's my initial thought too. But I, I was thinking this also. If you really believe in uh, Josh, well, Josh Sweat's there, but if you really believe in Bryce Huff and you believe in Nolan Smith, do you run, are you definitely running out to go get an edge rusher? I mean, is it possible that they still could do something like offensive line, something like that? I mean, I'm just saying, I, I, I don't know, but um, I'm not so sure it's going to be defensive end or edge rusher. It probably should be, but you're going to have to trade up. And you know what? That's what the Eagles do. The Eagles have traded up year after year after year after year uh, for like the last four years. I think the last four out of five years, they traded up. They traded up to get Andre Dillard. Then they had Rager the pick a year later. They didn't trade up for that. Then they traded up for Devontae Smith. They traded up for Jordan Davis. And they traded up for Jalen Carter. I think there's a very good possibility because teams know the Eagles might be going after an edge rusher that they're going to have to trade up. So I think that there's like an 85% chance the Eagles are trading up this draft. Uh, I really, truly do. Um, but, I mean, it, it, this, this is a tough trade. I, I'm a big Reddick fan. I love what he do. I mean, what he did in the... Uh, you know, championship game, what he did in the division round the year we went to the Super Bowl. I mean, he, he dominated. He dominated. And um, this is this is a feast or famine. Uh, if, if Nolan Smith and uh, Bryce Huff live up to the expectations of what, you know, we think that they should be able to be, uh, you know, it's going to look, Howie's going to look like a genius. I mean, how, they, they've got to know something, right? They, Howie has to know. Howie, here's the thing. How he doesn't get ripped off in trades. He doesn't. He just never has. There's got to be something more to this, you know? Uh, were they just that determined to get rid of him? I mean, really, I mean, I don't think the bonus was a million-dollar bonus April 1st, a roster bonus. I don't think that's what forced them to rush. Uh, you know, there's, there's something more going on. And I think Howie Roseman is working on something with this roster. I would not be surprised to see another blockbuster trade happen very, very soon. Uh, let me know what you guys think. It's going to be crazy. Philly Shakedown podcast tonight. Uh, me and Joey should be fun. Uh, and with that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course.
Don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's Howie Vision. Good or bad, and we're all just living in it. Oh boy, man, these Cowboy fans are crazy. They're crazy. They they are loving this. Mark Holmes is out there. Philly 500, he is sitting there live doing a video, and he's talking about how Howie Roseman made another great move and how Hassan Reddick had to go. I never said any of those things. He just makes things up. He just makes things up. I didn't say any of it, but the Cowboy fans, they think that we're done or something or it's all over for us because we lost Reddick. Let me tell you something. Let me tell everybody something. The Eagles are still the best team in the NFC East. Still one of the best teams in the conference. Uh, there's no question about it. Uh, this move may not make us better today, but if some of these guys develop and if Howie does what I think he's going to do, watch out. The Eagles are about to double moonwalk that ass. Denzel Washington out.